A great carry weapon is no good without a great holster solution. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I have just honed in on my ideal carry solution for summer. Here at the Ultimate Reloader Outpost, I've got two foes that I'm most concerned with in the summer months. Rattlesnakes, which will turn up anywhere when I'm hiking and around the cabin. I've got kids, got to defend the Ultimate Reloader Outpost, and black bear. I've seen a sow with her cubs probably 100 yards away from the cabin. If I was between the sow and the cubs, I would be in serious trouble. So, I carry two shot shells and four full house 44 Magnum loads. I feel like I'm very well prepared to deal with whatever is thrown my way, including some random meth head that comes up the road. So far, I've had this Smith & Wesson 629 four inch partial underlug. Love this revolver. I can shoot it confidently. I can shoot it accurately. It is awesome. So what's not to like? The weight. I've also got a six inch 629. This is kind of a unique setup because it is a stainless 629, but I had it custom ion bonded with this cool black finish. This is even heavier. And in reality, I can shoot the four inch just as accurately. But when you carry the four inch all day, you're gonna feel that weight. It's a lot of weight. Enter the solution. This is the Smith & Wesson 329PD. The 329PD has a scanium aluminum frame. It has a titanium cylinder. It's still 44 Magnum. You still got six shots, so it's full capacity, but this guy weighs 1.6 pounds approximately compared to the 2.6 pounds of the full stainless. So I'm shedding a pound I'm only at 60% of the weight, and it turns out that makes all the difference in the world. Yes, it's a bit snappier with recoil, but when you're facing that sow and you're standing in between her and her cubs, the recoil does not matter. And of course, for shooting snakes with shot shells, not a problem at all. The big problem so far has been finding the right holster. For my four inch 629, I did this custom leather holster here. This is vegetable tan leather. I, I did the full wetting process. I did the custom forming, wet forming of it, and it's been good. It's kind of loosened up a little bit, but because it's for the partial underlug, the stitching actually follows that contour. It's definitely not going to work with a full underlug design. It doesn't even go all the way in. So I started looking for holsters, wasn't finding what I needed, and then I found Gunfighters Inc., a local company right here in the state of Washington, and they've got two very popular models that I wanted to check out. The Ronin, which is for outside the waistband carry, and the Kenai, which is gonna be for chest carry. So if I've got a pack on, the Kenai is gonna be great for all day, every day, ranch activity, sitting around the campfire, the Ronin is the answer. So let me show you each of these holsters in detail. The Ronin is a Kydex outside the waistband holster. So if you hold this up to your waist, it's gonna follow the profile of your hip. And I really like the way that this is put together because of the way that it retains the gun. Their slogan, Gunfighters Inc., is retention defined. And it's all about this little click right here. It's easy to push in, but it's very solid, right? The gun is not gonna fall out if you shake it upside down. So if I'm in the field and I'm you know, negotiating a rock climb even, I don't have to worry about my gun falling out, but when I need it, it's right there. And so this is actually a Ronin 2.0. Uh, 2.0 signifies when Gunfighters Inc. went from the foam forming to the vacuum forming. So the lines are a little bit crisper. It's got hand formed belt loops. It's got grip tape inside the belt loops so that it's not gonna negotiate your side and kind of walk around on you. Furthermore, while this fits the 329 PD really well, it's also going to fit my 4 inch 629, which is also an end frame. There's a little extra room in front of the partial underlog, but that doesn't matter at all. Finally, if I took the rail and red dot off of the 6 inch 629, it's going to fit in there just fine, and there's going to be a bit of the barrel protruding, which is totally normal. In fact, if you go to the product page, for the Kenai, the other holster I'm about to show you, they show that type of a setup. So regardless of if you're hunting with 
this firearm or if you're carrying it for defensive purposes, it's going to be a good solution for those types of applications. So the Ronin, good all-rounder. Kenai is going to be better for hiking with a backpack, hunting with a big, you know, large frame revolver, whatever kind of scenario you're in like that. The big difference with the Kenai is the retention method. Instead of being through the belt loops, it's going to be via these straps with the quick release clips. So the first thing I'm going to do is to put this on and to make sure it's fit correctly, I'm going to fit it a little bit loose so that if I have a jacket, I can still have enough room for it. And then once we get that fitment done, it's just going to be a matter of clicking it in place each time I want to use it. So fitment for the Kenai is really just a matter of taking the harness on and off a couple times and cinching the straps down so that you have positive retention. You don't want the holster to move around side to side or up and down when you withdraw the weapon or when you holster the weapon. And I'll have to say, I'm on a hunting trip up here in the mountains. I've got my rifle with me, I've got my pack with me, all sorts of accessories and gear, and it's so great to have this field carry weapon, this ranch carry weapon with me, and to not have to worry about getting to it in a hurry if I had a situation unfold with the bear. I've also spent quite a bit of time today around the ranch, riding the quad around, going to and from buildings, in and out of different scenarios and different tasks. With Ronin on my side, that's gonna be my all day, every day ranch carry weapon retention system up here at the Ultimate Reloader Outpost. So I'm gonna have more content coming up around ranch carry. I'm gonna be looking at shot shells for the Smith & Wesson 329 PD for 44 Magnum and a lot of other related content coming up. So if you're looking for a great field carry holster for hiking, for hunting, anything like that, check gunfightersinc.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to GavinTube with notifications because you're not going to want to miss any of the action I have coming up related to metalworking, related to shooting, rifles, pistols, shotguns. I'm going to be covering it all. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.